Opening batsman, Alistair Cook and Graham Smith. Alistair Cook at top of the order, England's best opening batsman and highest run scorer. Graham Smith, you know, a fantastic player, very tough competitor, always managed to score runs. He didn't, uh, you know, didn't, never looked the prettiest, but just got the job done and scored heavy runs. Number three, captain, Ricky Ponting, one of the great players of all time. Fantastic to play against and I was lucky enough to play with Ricky at Somerset, um, a brilliant player and just again, just scored heavy runs against England and always scored them at a good pace. Number four, the greatest player ever, Sachin Tendulkar, changed the atmosphere of the ground whenever he came into bat, uh, especially when you were playing in the subcontinent, especially in India, um, a brilliant player to play against. Number five, the genius of the team, Brian Lara, absolutely phenomenal to play against. I, luckily or unluckily, if you like, managed to bowl a few overs at him when he got 400 and he was a brilliant batsman to play against and he just sort of took the game apart um, and could do things no one else could do. Number six, Jack Callis, probably the best all-rounder to have played the game. Um, phenomenal player, brilliant batsman, great technician of the game, but also the all-rounder that you need to, you know, to bowl the overs uh, and get the wicket. Number seven, Adam Gilchrist, could take the game away from you very quickly. Um, wicket keeper as well, just sort of just did the job. Um, coming at number seven when bowlers are tired made it very, very tricky for everyone else. Number eight, Shane Warne, the best leg spinner and probably the best spinner to have played the game. Very tough competitor and just sort of controlled the game and dictated the pace of what the day would uh, unfold. Number nine, Wazi Makram, left arm option, quick bowler, always made it very tricky for opening batsmen. Number 10, England's Jimmy Anderson. Uh, I made to, managed to play with Jimmy in the early part of his career and saw some great things from him. But as his, his career has unfolded, he's turned himself into the best swing bowler around. And number 11, Glenn McGrath. Relentless bowler, line and length, good areas all the time, never giving you anything to hit um, and making it very tricky, especially for you know, playing here at Lords um, and making it tough and using the slope, always a, a grain that he, he succeeded on. So that's my all-time 11, what's yours?